Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. And it does look like a chance of some severe storms. Here's an update to your forecast this morning. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks for joining me. Let's take a look at your hour-by-hour hour forecast heading into the morning. A couple of spotty showers and thunderstorms to begin our day as we go through. And then heading into the afternoon, storms firing out to the west on this particular model. Storms uh, and the atmosphere heating up in the afternoon to those 80s to mid-80s for many of us. And that's going to fuel some late-day thunderstorms. Now, things get started in the central Dakotas. Where they get started is where the risk for all modes of severe weather will be the greatest, and a tornado or two cannot be ruled out as we go through the evening hours. And see the backward C shape that this takes on as you go through? I'll draw it out here for you. This backward C shape indicates an increased risk for some gusty wind potential from these thunderstorms. So if it evolves in this manner, the timing is going to be after 10 before it moves into the Devil's Lake Basin, the James River Valley, and even later after midnight before it works its way into the Red River Valley in parts of western Minnesota. So a risk for some late night thunderstorms that could be windy here. The greatest risk, again, in the central Dakotas, with a wind threat attendant as we go into the overnight hours here across portions of the Red River Valley and western Minnesota. So a quick peek at your forecast as we go through the afternoon. I mentioned the heat of the day building 80s here in the Red River Valley, and it looks warm as well in parts of uh, Minnesota, with some of the greatest heat being in parts of western South Dakota, where once again those 90s will rain. It's going to be a hot week for most of us as we go through temperatures scoring those 90s Thursday and Friday. And by the way, our next best chance at organized strong to severe storms comes on Friday afternoon. I'll keep you posted on that. We cool off for the weekend and dry out a touch the way things are looking right now. If storms form in your area tonight, please keep in mind HutchesWeather.com anytime, anywhere. There's the interactive radar. And if you allow HutchesWeather.com to follow your location when you first log on, then the interactive radar will let you know if there's watches or warnings in your particular area. Thanks for your follows on Facebook, your subscriptions on my YouTube channel, Hutches Weather. Remember, HutchesWeather.com is always there for you no matter where you are or when you're there. We'll talk to you soon and I'll keep you updated.